the public lecture was aimed at exploring ways on how to achieve level of intelligence in ICT systems on the continent. If you've got a phone, a phone should be able to communicate with all other devices without the intervention of a human being. So when we reach that state, we are going to have uh, what is called uh, uh, inter integrated information ecosystem where you can get information at your fingertips. And that's where we are going. And uh, we need to innovate more in order to reach that state. Now, the, the, the challenge to Africans, uh, practitioners and uh, innovators and researchers is that let's not do a watching game. A watching game is where you sit back and say everything is going to be designed elsewhere in Europe, in the global north, USA, and then we follow what other colleagues are doing. We need to lead. Professor Bualia outlines some of the potential benefits of digital transformation, which forms part of the fourth industrial revolution. It reduces on the amount of work that colleagues have to, to be done because it's uh, in collaboration with the different machines. So machines take half of the work and human beings take almost half of the work. So there is that reduction in work and also increased efficiency because machines rarely make mistakes because they are programmed. So the efficiency levels in the different business processes are going to be quite high. And uh, the, other dif the other benefits that are dependent on the context in which uh, uh, for uh, is implemented. On his part, NAS Vice Chancellor, Dr. Erold Namib, emphasized the importance of transforming government services to digital formats. Citizens, either individually or in communities of interest, will increasingly use technology to seek greater autonomy which will challenge the power of government and institutions. Advances in renewable energy may erode the dependence that people have on national energy grid. Therefore, if government agencies are not swift in their adoption of new technologies, they will fail to generate the efficiency gains needed to continue public service delivery. Furthermore, if the disruptive effect of emerging technologies are too great and too rapid, or if governments fail to mitigate against this, the resulting rise in unemployment and inequality could result in serious social unrest. The public lecture was organized by NAST and the Bank of Namibia.